when we go out to have dinner, when we go out to have coffee with a friend, means the hotel lad says it all. What does that say? Every friend is necessary. And friendship, at home, sitting on the OTT, on Swiggy and Zomato, ordering, create friendships. It is created in the coffee shop. There are lies, damn lies, and then there are statistics. But we should take it in the right spirit. I'm glad that Rajiv ji and his team have at least jogged us to start assessing this subject based on data, based on empirical evidence. I'm being contrarian to the perception sought to be made because we've seen this happen in the West. I dare say Europe, America, all have seen the consequences of this. What has happened to the corner store, the mom and pop stores there? How many of them do you see surviving? Why did Switzerland not allow e-commerce to come in until very recently? Or in fact, even now, I think it's very limited. One of my visits to Geneva, our permanent rep our ambassador to WTO told me that they can't order anything on Amazon or Flipkart. So they order in France, it comes to the border which was near his home in Switzerland and then they pick it up from the border. But I'm not wishing away e-commerce. It's there to stay. But we'll have to, since this is a study about the impact, it should be dispassionate. It should come out with even more details that what is happening with the restaurants in India. What are these kitchens? What are they, what are they called? <laughs> cloud kitchens. What is the impact of these cloud kitchens? A very nice four or five uh, chefs will get a work there. And four or five delivery boys. Of course, we'll end up becoming a country of couch potatoes, watching OTT and having food at home every day. Really, the outing also is a part of human, human development. When we go out to have dinner, when we go out to have coffee with a friend, Means the hotel ad says it all. What does that say? Har ek, har ek friend zaruri hota hai. Or friendship, ghar pe baith ke OTT pe Swiggy or Zomato order karke, friendships nahi create hoti hai. Wo to coffee shop mein ja ke create hoti hai. But I don't deny that e-commerce has a role. But we'll have to think very carefully and cautiously what that role is, how that role can be in a more organized fashion. Is predatory pricing policies good for the country? When Amazon says we are going to invest a billion dollars in India and we all celebrate, we forget the underlying story that that billion dollars is not coming in for any great service or any great investment to support the Indian economy. They made a billion dollars loss in their balance sheet the, that year. They have to fill in that loss. And how did that loss get caused? They paid a thousand crores to professionals. I don't know who these professionals are. I'm myself a chartered accountant. I've done law. But I'd love to know which chartered accountants, professionals, lawyers get a thousand crores. Unless you're paying all the top lawyers to block them. So that nobody can fight a case against you. You can take retainership with all the top lawyers and then there's nobody left to fight against them. If you make 6,000 crore loss in one year, does that not smell of predatory pricing to any of you? What did that loss come on? They are after all an e-commerce platform. They are not allowed to do B2C. The e-commerce platform legally cannot do business to consumer. They create entities where Indians contribute to making those entities, sadly. Then they get caught, so they start closing down those entities. That's part two of the story. But they only reroute all the business through an entity to show that it's business to business. But reality is all of you buy on these platforms, don't you? How do you buy? B2C is not allowed on these platforms. How are they doing it? Should this not be a matter of concern for all of us?